Fast forward 100 years in 2008, uh, the President and CEO Don Green wrote the same letter that Carnegie wrote to Napoleon Hill, and they gave it to me. And they said, if we're going to give you an opportunity to follow this gentleman's footsteps, then we're going to do it from a completely different perspective. Rather than talking about success and prosperity and money, we're going to talk about adversity and challenge in today's situations. Because in 2008, I don't know about you, things were tight. They were very tight. And i got to tell you, they gave me an opportunity to do something I never thought I'd ever do. You see, Don Green, the president and CEO of the Napoleon Health Foundation, pulled off the back of the, the uh, shelves a copy of Think and Grow Rich and opened it up. And the first thing he flipped to was a story called Three Feet from Gold. And he says, I want you to go out and interview people, not about prosperity or success, talk to them about why they didn't quit. The first interview I did was a guy named Dave Lineker. If you don't know his name, but you know his business. He says, what was it like, Dave, getting started in real estate back in 1970, the other economic collapse? He says, it was horrible. All the investment money ran out. I was broke. For two years, every phone call that came in was from a bill collector. I was so embarrassed when the phone would ring, I, I'd run across the hall and pick it up so my secretary wasn't put on the spot. The third year, it got so bad, they threw me in jail. They called me a liar and a cheat and a fraud. I said, what did you do? He says, I took my attitude from trying to prove them wrong to something more important than prove myself right. I knew I wasn't what they were making me out to be. He said, I had the courage to pick up that phone. And I called those bill collectors back and said, I'm going to be honest. I don't got 50 grand I owe you. I'm sorry, but I got 50 bucks. I'll send it to you today with a promise that I won't quit. Don't give up on me. He says, I called every bill collector every single month until the fourth year someone finally believed in me. Bought the first business and... That's called Remax Real Estate Corporation. He says, I'm nothing. But how many people's lives were changed because I wouldn't quit? And how do we know that someone sitting in this room isn't about to give up on their own dream because Visa was calling them on the way in? From there, I sat down with everyone from the president of NASCAR to the guy building the elevator to space. From Miss America to the founders of childhealth.org. I got to sit down with the greatest minds of today and pick the brains. Who here would have gone with me to meet all these people? I wish that was true. I invited hundreds and like three ever showed up. <laughs>